Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. Uh, today felt like a changing of the guards where, you know, we've had kind of a the big move higher. Um, we did get a squeeze. You can see here we're one, two, three, four, five dots into it. But it felt like uh, the wind was kind of taken out of the sails today. Now, at the very least, it would make sense that we could come back to 190. So that would be another 20 points to the downside. Uh, but the question is, bigger picture, you know, we've come down, we've kind of rallied back to the mean, do we continue moving lower? I, I don't think so, actually, but I do think that we're due for a pullback. I mean, by lower, I don't think we're going to make new lows. I don't think we're going to go straight down here, but I do think it's time to retrace. And by retrace, I just mean kind of a normal, um, you know, retracement here. 50% retracement would take us back to 188, right? So, so that being said, uh, one of the main things I'm looking at here, one of them is the VIX. So for the VIX, we have come down to the lower Bollinger Band. We popped up a little bit today. I, at a minimum, I think we come back and revert back to the mean. Maximum, you know, i.e. bigger move would be coming all the way back there. So what are some ways to participate in that? One way is just with VIX futures themselves. One of the things I like about VIX futures is that you're not dealing with premium. I mean, you do. there are some things you have to be careful of. Uh, you actually need to buy the front month one. That's the one where all, all the kind of the action is and things like that too. And there are some goofy things with rollover, but all in all, if this moves higher and you're long, you're gonna make money. So at this point, again, just kind of looking for a move back to the mean, uh, essentially risking one point here to potentially make two points. And I do like GLD here. Uh, we had uh, some other trades that we're looking at today in terms of like Baidu and things like that that we got shaken out of and looked at some, it's like, okay, so where, which is normal, that's trading. So where do we put our money? I like GLD in this case. I uh, got some March 115 calls and just looking for a retest at this point of these highs. So that would take us back to about 121. That's a healthy move from where we are now and there's the potential that we could push higher from there. And then the other one that I liked here was Google to the downside. And on this, uh, you know, even during the the fantastic rally that we've had, Google's had a hard time kind of getting through this resistance. And at this point, just looking to see like, all right, well, if the market rolls over, Google will most likely, you know, come back to that skyline there. And we sold some at the money call credit spreads. So this is the kind of environment where I'm not looking to get too aggressive. This isn't like, all right, the market's bottoming, let's load up on longs and push it. This is a market where it's like, all right, we've got now forces kind of it's a little bit more equal here and we're going to see some chop, probably some violent chop and going to be focusing more on, first of all, looking for things kind of doing their own thing, i.e. gold, and then uh, focusing more on like, hey, if Google's going to go lower, are we going to buy puts or are we going to sell a call credit spread? Well, in this kind of environment, we are going to sell a call credit spread. Okay, so that's the kind of th thing we're looking at there. Last but not least, uh, the trend yesterday, oh, that's the put call ratio. I was like, the trend uh, is not lining up at the same values as I remember, and that makes sense because that's not the trend. So let me grab the trend. So how the trend works is that when you have a very low reading like this, typically the next day is choppy to down. You can see here it was down. Uh, here it was choppy, here it was choppy. When you close over to, you're actually looking for a bounce the next day. So now the question is, well, we closed at 1.95. Is that close enough? It may be, but it w technically it's over two. So here's over two and you can see uh, there's over two and the next day we started down and reversed higher. So we wanna keep in mind that while today, we went in today very overbought, we're going into tomorrow fairly oversold, and if we do gap down tomorrow, I'd definitely be looking to take profits on those VIX futures, and then I'm willing to hold on some of the spreads and gold from there. All right, so just kind of be careful there. And then uh, we do have a potential plane trade coming up. I'll talk a little bit more about that in the premium video, and it shouldn't be dull. Okay, and last but not least, uh, we do have a free webinar coming up on Tuesday, March 1st, and just want to let you guys know about it. It'll be at 8 p.m. East Coast time, and that is, of course, 7 o'clock 
Central Time. And I'm kind of branching out into a new theme here. And we're just essentially going to embrace the volatility that's in this current market. All right, so we're going to be talking about the reasons why volatility can be your best friend, uh, especially if you're a complete newbie and you got a small account. Okay, you just want to learn how to embrace these markets. Why options are the best trading vehicle on the planet right now? Why down markets are better than up markets? By the way, we might be getting ready to go back into a down move, which could be fun. And then how to make successful trades on your phone while you're at work. And this is one of the biggest questions I've been getting is like, all right, this is great. I'm at the office. How do I do this without having to stare at the charts all day? Okay. So if you go to simpleroptions.com forward slash volatile, you'll come up with this page. You can just do your name, your email. Uh, hit submit and you'll get the registration info. Again, free webinar and looking forward to seeing you there. And it is on Tuesday, March 1st, uh, right that time. Okay. You guys have a good one and we'll see you at the next update.